It turns out there's a lot more going on beneath the Yellowstone volcano than we thought, and it's not all bad. Scientists recently discovered a new magma layer about 4 kilometers below the surface, right beneath the Yellowstone caldera in the heart of Yellowstone National Park. Three major volcanic eruptions have occurred over the past few million years at this giant supervolcano. But here's the important part, this discovery doesn't mean anything major is about to happen. In fact, quite the opposite. They discovered something called a magma cap, a thick, slow-moving layer that's neither completely solid nor completely liquid. This layer sits atop a deeper magma reservoir and has tiny cracks that allow gas to escape over time. This slow release of pressure is what helps maintain stability down there. One of the researchers, Brandon Schmant, explains it simply, what we found is that this reservoir hasn't capped, it's been there for a few million years, but it's still dynamic. And this proves that while Yellowstone is still alive and moving, it's showing no signs of danger. This is exactly what this supervolcano has been doing for millions of years. Obviously, no one is drilling into a volcano as big as Yellowstone. It's deep, hot, and too risky. And that's why scientists took a different approach. They drove through parts of Yellowstone National Park with a 24-ton truck that sent powerful vibrations into the ground. Then, they placed sensors throughout the area to measure how those waves bounced back from beneath the surface. This approach, derived from seismology, allowed them to see deep beneath the surface. The waves changed about 3.8 kilometers down and moved more slowly, as if they were penetrating something softer than solid rock. That's how they discovered what had long been right beneath one of the most visited national parks in the United States, a magma chamber, a previously uncharted mixture of magma, gas, and superheated fluids. Not really, the Yellowstone supervolcano is a powerful volcanic system capable of massive eruptions, that's a fact. However, this new information suggests that the system is releasing pressure and there are no signs of an eruption in progress. The magma chamber acts like a release valve, allowing steam and gas to slowly escape. And like your pressure cooker, that natural pressure regulation keeps threats at bay. To this day, scientists still have many questions about the magma reservoir, where it comes from, and how active it is. Now they have answers that give them a much clearer picture of what's happening underground. Even for those who don't live near Yellowstone or other volcanoes, this changes the way we understand volcanoes in general. It shows how modern science can give us real insight into what's happening beneath our feet. This time, scientists are showing the world that with creativity, we can go further than we thought. Using trucks to shake the ground when they couldn't dig any deeper, entire barriers disappeared completely. Now, this discovery can help them better monitor volcanic systems, not just in the US but around the world. More importantly, we can ease our worries because Yellowstone is still active. However, this new layer is a sign of balance, not of risk. The volcano isn't completely silent because the pressure is increasing, but rather quite quiet because the pressure is decreasing and returning to normal, as it has been for a long time. Yellowstone Volcano is currently very safe to visit, but tourists should remain cautious as anything can still happen, such as the July 2024 eruption that destroyed a boardwalk and many other sudden eruptions that sent visitors running for safety. No one can predict when Yellowstone Volcano will erupt.